All right, hello boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade science, week number seven. Um, so today we're going to be talking about mixtures and compounds. Mixtures and compounds. So we want to know what mixtures are, what compounds are. Um, so by the end of this lesson today, the students should be able to understand the differences between mixtures and compounds, the different types of mixtures based on their particle particle sizes. All right, what is a mixture? Well, a mixture is a non-chemical combination of two or more substances without any fixed proportion. So what's gonna be an example of that? So an example of that is gonna be like your apple juice or your orange juice or potentially your sand inside water, for example. That's gonna be like a mixture for you. And there are different types of mixtures. There is what we call a, homo a homogeneous mixture, which is gonna be same composition like salt and water. Then there is an heterogeneous mixture, which are different compositions such as sedimentary rocks. Well, and then based on particle size, mixtures can be classified into two. We can have solutions, suspensions, and colloids. What are solutions? There are these are uh, mixtures, uh, homogeneous mixtures. The particles are too small to see with natural eyes. Particles do not settle and cannot be filtered out of the mixture. So an example of that is going to be salt water. So when you put salt inside water, you can filter out salt and water just by trying to sieve it out or something like that. Well, because it's dissolved in it. But there is no chemical reaction between that salt and water. It just became salt, salty water, right? That's a solution for you. And then what about sus suspensions? Suspensions are going to be heter heterogeneous mixtures. Heterogeneous mixtures are going to be particles that are inside water, but they are large enough to see with natural eyes. So, for example, if you leave paint. You mix paints together with water and you let the, 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 the paint water settle a little bit. You are going to see paint at the bottom of that water. Well, that's a suspension over there. Then what about colloids? Well, colloids, these are going to be homogeneous mixtures, uh, but they are large enough to see with natural eyes. But particles do not settle and cannot be filtered. An example is going to be gelatine. All right, so these are different kinds of mixtures. There are uh, homogeneous mixtures, there are heterogeneous mixtures, and based on the particle sizes, you can have solutions, suspensions, and colloids. These are things that you just have to memorize and understand the way they work together, just like that. Then let's go to compounds right now. So compounds. Now these are gonna be chemical combinations of two or more substances in a fixed proportion. And that word fixed proportion is going to be important over there because if the proportions are different, you're not going to have the same kind of compound. It's very important. So for example, we can have H2O, which we know is going to be equivalent to water. If we have H2O2, it's not going to be water anymore. So the proportions are very important. They have to be in that proportions so that you can have the exact compound that you're talking about. Well, the same thing with carbon dioxide. Well, carbon dioxide is going to be CO2. If you were to have CO, that's not going to be carbon dioxide anymore. That's going to be carbon monoxide, which is actually poisonous. So compounds have to be in a fixed proportion. So let's go ahead and make sure that you can remember a few facts over there. What is the difference or what are the differences between mixtures and compounds? And based on their particle sizes, what are the different types of mixtures? Well, let's try to write some of those things down right now on the board for us. All right, so let's talk about it again here. So what are mixtures? Well, mixtures are gonna be uh, things that are non-chemical non -chemical related. Okay, so if you can remember that, that's gonna be um, able to juggle your memory to understand what mixtures are just like that. Well, this ones are going to be what? Mixtures. They are non-chemical related. Okay, a combination of two or more substances in a non-chemical 
way. That's going to be a mixture for you. But then when it comes to compounds, well, these are going to be what? Chemical composition or chemical combination of certain substances. Those are going to be compounds. Now, these are going to be chemical, okay? Chemical composition and particular proportions, okay? Chemical. So that's the difference. So mixtures, non-chemical, compounds, chemical combination, all right? So for example, an example of a compound is going to be H2O, which is our water. And another one is going to be H, you may not have heard of this before, but there's something called h 2 O2, which is going to be hydrogen peroxide. And you don't drink hydrogen peroxide because that's that's uh, that's poisonous. You drink H2O, which is water. Now, what's the difference between H2O and H2O2? Proportions, right? So there are two atoms of oxygen over here and two atoms of hydrogen here. Over here we have two atoms of I hydrogen and one atom of oxygen that this makes this one water which you can drink this makes this one another compound which you cannot absolutely should not drink right <laughs> so did you understand the differences between compounds and mixtures right now all right that's typically the difference over there so please go ahead and turn to page number 19 and page number 20 of your workbook you are going to see a space over there to journal certain things that we talked about today so that you can retain this point a little bit better. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero's boys.